I'm Lana Longorio. I'm the research chemist for the equipment specifications uh, department, the USBC. Come on inside and check out my lab. Okay, this is an infrared spectrometer. Uh, it's primarily used for ball cleaner and ball polish approval, as well as pin permit renewals. Um, for the ball cleaner and ball polish approvals, we have a plastic disc, um, a regular urethane disc, and a reactive urethane disc. And I take a scan of each disc, and then I apply the product to be tested. And then I scan the product afterwards and compare the two, and uh, that determines whether or not the product has left a residue on the ball. This is an example of a spectrum, what it looks like. The instrument uh, has a laser inside, and when the laser is shot through a sample, it excites molecular bonds, and um, each, each one of these bands represents a different bond. The infrared spectrometer is also used for pin permit renewals. Basically, we take a bowling pin that has been submitted for approval, and we use a circular saw to cut out a piece. And um, this piece is then placed on the instrument and it is scanned and compared to a previous, previous year's scan. And uh, we have specifications and if these specifications are met, the bowling pin is, is permit is renewed. And if they are not, then they have to resubmit for approval. This is a UV spectrometer. We use this in um, lane conditioner approvals. Um, manufacturers add UV brighteners to lane conditioners so that they may, that they may be read on uh, tape readers. Okay, so I prepare the sample in xylenes and then um, they end up going into these spectrophotometer tubes. I insert the tubes and I can check the concentration to make sure that it falls within our specification, which is 300 and three, between 300 and 367 parts per million. For this test, we, um, we use ball cleaners, ball polishes, to make sure they don't change the hardness of the ball. So first we take a basic flat reading of the ball, and then we apply a product. We apply the product, let it sit, and then we take a reading on the ball make sure the ball has not changed hardness readings within two duros. This is a viscometer. We also use this in lane conditioner approvals. Basically, we take the lane conditioner and we pour it into this beaker, set it in the water bath. The water bath is set at 21.1 degrees Celsius. We insert, we lower, lower the uh, spindle and turn it on and we have a viscosity reading. So those are the tests I perform on a regular basis. We also have a flashpoint tester, test flashpoint of uh, lane conditioners, lane cleaners, ball cleaners, and we also have a pH meter to test the pH. And that's the USBC lab.